The game has been out for almost three months now, and if you're still struggling to be consistently good at it, you've come to the right video, guys. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how to be consistently good at Black Ops Cold War, and I'm not talking about getting 50 kills in one game, and then the next game, you only get like 10, 15 kills and stuff like that. That's not consistent at all. Instead, I'll be talking about how to usually get, 99% of the time, get to the top of the leaderboard, at least the top three of the leaderboard in most of your games. So let's get straight into it. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video, man. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about how to be a lot more consistent in your playstyle, how to play a lot better, and just know how to beat the enemies. And if you guys could drop a like within the next 5 seconds and be blessed with the best luck ever, that would be amazing. And make sure to subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on, we're closing in on 700k. Now I do want to ask you guys something because this video does have to do with getting better. I want you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know what your KD is so I can see where you guys are at and then you guys can kind of see where you are at. As well come back in a couple of months and see if you have improved after watching this video and following these tips and stuff because trust me they will get you consistently better now the first thing I want to talk about is to change your button layout we're not going to talk about sensitivity or anything that's more personal that's what you guys enjoy whatever you like playing on is for you but let's talk about the button layout if you're playing with a regular PlayStation 4 Xbox one or a PlayStation 5 controller doesn't matter what controller you're playing with if you're playing with a regular one that doesn't have back buttons like paddles and stuff you might want to think about changing this and the one that I suggest are tactical flipped or stick and move flipped. Now tactical flipped allows you guys to drop shot while still remaining accurate. You can still aim at people, you're pressing down on R3 on the right joystick to drop shot and you make yourself a very hard target while still being able to shoot at the enemies. And the opposite is the stick and move. It allows you to jump rather than drop shot if you guys prefer that. Now I like stick and move a lot better, I don't know why, I just feel a lot more accurate with it, but it allows you to actually do that. Now I did say flipped, you want to make sure that you flip these controls. Instead of shooting with L2 and R2, what you want to do is shoot with L1 and R1. And the reason for this is because not only does it feel better in your hands, it feels a lot more natural in your hands, and it's easier to actually go after the people, but it does actually shoot your weapons milliseconds faster. And just to let you guys know, this game only takes a few milliseconds to kill people, so if you could get that little slight advantage, it's going to help you out a lot, so make sure to do that. And the next one I want to talk about is using the right gun for the right map. Now, I've spoken about this before, you want to make sure that you're using a gun that feels good to you and if you want to use a gun that's OP that's all right as well but you just make sure you're good with that gun if you're using a gun that you just suck with but you're using it just because it's overpowered then don't use it you're not going to do good with it now I do suggest the AK-47 and the Craig 4 ARs those are nice the XM4 as well and for SMGs I would go more towards the AK-74U the MAC-10 and the MP5 if you could get comfortable with any of those that would be great now the ARs you want to use on any map like mid-size big size even some of the small ones AR could work. SMGs, I wouldn't use it on a gigantic map like Satellite for example. SMGs just won't do that great on that map. So you might want to use ARs instead. Maybe even snipers if you like going out to the sand dunes and stuff. But trust me, make sure you're always using the right gun for the right map. Now I will say, speaking about maps, stay the hell away from the middle of the map. Don't go there bro. You're not John Wick. You're not going to jump to the middle of the map and get 50 kills. It's just, it's not happening. It's, it's impossible. So what I like to suggest is always stick to the edges of the map rather than going to the center and staying on the sides of the map actually helps you out a lot more. So let's say you're playing on Nuketown, you spawn behind the blue house. Instead of going straight to the middle in between the buses and stuff, maybe go all the way to the left side where the car is parked and you guys could pick off people from there. You have less places to look for enemies. Now that's not really a good map to actually use as an example, so let's use Raid instead. Instead of going to the center of Raid, what you could do is go to the right side where the statue is, that big circular statue, and pick people off there. You're going to have people coming from in front of you rather than behind you. If you're in the middle of the map, there's windows everywhere, there's head glitches everywhere, there's literally lanes, like four or five different lanes that lead to the middle of the map. So there's just way too many spots to look for enemies. So I never suggest go in there unless you like dying. So, I mean, if you like dying, go to the middle. If not, stick to the edges, trust me. Now, the next one is to use your teammates as bait. And this one's funny because it actually works. And I've told you guys this before, you guys love hearing this one and it works. You guys always tell me it works. So let's say you're playing a game and you and a teammate are running beside each other. Now, there's a room up ahead of you guys, and you don't know if an enemy is in there, but you think there is. Chances are there is an enemy in there. Let your teammate go in first. Let him go. It doesn't matter. If there is an enemy there, he's going to kill your teammates. That means that you will know that the enemy is there, and you have better chances of winning that gunfight rather than going in there blindly like your teammate did. So just let him go in, man. He's the bait. His KD is going to drop. Yours is not going to drop. Who cares? You don't have to worry about him. He's not your friend. Let him drop his KD. Whatever. So use him as bait. 
do what you got to do and i mean man it sucks i don't want to say it but it works it, it works dude now i also want to go ahead and say know when to get away from a gunfight if you're in the middle of a gunfight that's not head on and you guys are like 30 or 40 meters apart and you're getting blasted he's blasting you maybe he's the the enemy is sitting behind a head glitch or he's sitting on top of a window or something like that upstairs get away from the gunfight if you have a chance of not winning it if your chances are like 90 percent that you're gonna lose get out of that gunfight just know when to leave if he shoots you like crazy and you only get like one or two shots on him get a, get into a hiding spot run away and just don't get back into that gunfight man because if you get back into that gunfight you're gonna lose then you're gonna get angry and you're gonna try and go after him again and he's gonna kill you and stuff like that and speaking of that man if you do lose that gunfight this is another tip i want to tell you guys do not seek revenge never seek revenge man because you're gonna be angry the enemy just killed you so he's already playing a lot better once you get kills once you start going on streaks and stuff you just play better it's natural you want to stay alive your adrenaline's pumping and stuff so i mean if you lose that gunfight you're angry you're gonna go back try to kill that guy and he's just gonna move spots and he knows you're coming back for him and he's gonna smack you again and then you're gonna go again and again and again and just gonna keep getting you every single time so it's not worth seeking revenge trust me it's not something that i ever suggest i mean i do it a lot it's my big problem as well but at the end of the day man it's just it's something i gotta stop doing and i want to tell you guys don't do it it's just it's never worth it. i'm sure you guys have done it and you've noticed that it just it doesn't work like nine out of ten times it doesn't work that one out of ten times when it does work it feels amazing which is why you do it but it just it doesn't work man going down to a next one you want to use lethal score streaks you don't want to use stuff like the rcxd you don't want to use that you don't want to use the sentry gun the napalm strike which seems amazing it has like a limited amount of kills i mean if you drop it down and it gets four kills chances of getting more kills after that is pretty low not many enemies are going to run right through the fire they see it man they're staying away from it so that gives you a limited amount of kills that's a that's a kill streak or score streak that i like to say is very limited now what i do suggest is using like the war machine you could get a bunch of kills you could get like 10 kills with the war machine use the vtol you could get more than 10 kills with the vtol using the attack chopper anything anything like that that's going to guarantee you more than four kills it's going to guarantee you a bunch of kills is something that you want to think about using because this game is very good in this game even if you die you still get your kill streaks so put it on the highest ones it doesn't matter as long as you get more kills and you kill a bunch of people you're gonna earn it now if you kill people and you don't die and you just keep killing you earn it even faster your score multiplier goes up like crazy so try to stay alive as long as you can while still killing people and you guys are gonna get these really really fast your kd is gonna go up from your score streaks doing all the work and it's pretty much like dude you could get 100 kill gameplays and stuff where you only get like maybe 50 kills using your gun so it's pretty good now another one i want to say is don't camp never ever camp even if people are camping don't be one of those guys and i'm not saying just rush 24 7 you, you could camp once in a while you got to know when to camp if you know enemies are coming and you have an advantage point stay there sure but if you stay in the same area and you're just staying there the whole entire game the enemies know exactly where you're at man they're coming for you they're, they're gonna kill you and even if you do kill let's say three four of them they're all gonna be coming back seeking revenge which they shouldn't be doing but they're gonna do it anyways so don't just sit in the same corner yeah you might get like 10 kills at the end of the game 15 kills at the end of the game and maybe like five or six deaths which is good for your kd but that is very boring gameplay you're gonna get tired of it fast you're, you're just not doing good and most of the time when people camp i don't know if you noticed it but i noticed it look at this the scoreboard after those dudes are going like 15 and 25 they're not doing good so camping just doesn't work you got to move around you want you got to chase those people you got to get those kills and like i said man bringing us to the last tip like moving around you always got to rotate let's say you i'm gonna use nuketown because it's a very small map and it's a good example let's say you're in the middle of nuketown you're in the blue house garage let's say you kill three people who are in between the bus and the truck you kill those three guys they know you're in that garage so what do you do then you get three kills move along maybe go to the upstairs window in the blue house kill another two three people then go back to the garage if you want but if you're always rotating the enemies will never know where you're at you're always moving you're gonna kill a few of them and then you're gonna go back and forth and stuff like that that's how i play that's my play style i always rotate if i kill people i move away right away never let them know where you're at and you're gonna get a bunch more kills so that is it for the tips guys man if you did enjoy this video drop a like on this one we're not gonna set a like goal or anything just drop a like if you guys did enjoy it it does help out with the algorithm a lot so i would appreciate it let me know down in the comments below what your kds are in this game and then in a couple of months you guys can come back and check it out as well subscribe to the channel if you guys are around here with those notifications turned on thank you guys for watching man i really do appreciate it we're close to 700k that is crazy that's a crazy number and if you made it this far into the video comment blue bananas it's weird, it's random, and it's going to mess with people. All right, guys, my name is Nick, and I'll catch you.
in the next one. Peace.